Our first goal for today is to build the scaffolding so we can fix the date PNG data co cables. Yes. The boots piled on top of the scaffoldings are quite heavy. It's not going to use the technique. Here's Mongai and Sean. They're gonna be helping me building this scaffolding. For the past two weeks, these two guys have been helping me with my cabling, networking, and running ductings and conduits inside the ceiling and in the rooms. Once the scaffolding is up, Ask them to to have a view the noise. It was raining intermittently during that day, so we have to wait out the rain. And while we're doing that, we were watching our some of our staffs cleaning this giant barramundi. In this part, we are already done running the PNG data go fiber of the cable in the server room, and they all came. These guys from PNG Data Co didn't waste their time. As soon as they arrived, they immediately took out their equipment and did their work. That is the PABX which I and my team have been working on for the past several days. And now I'm going to show you how the steps from PNG Data Co are splicing or fusing their um, fiber optic cable with the device that they have brought with them. The device that they're using to splice or fuse those uh, fiber fiber cores together is the Fujikura 88S automatic splicing tool. I googled its price and it was really it was very expensive, way beyond my you know budget. But there are our, um a Chinese counterpart which is relatively cheaper than this uh, machine. Here they're fusing the six core only and this is like the um, like the patch panel for those uh, um, fiber optic cable. What this guy is holding at the moment is uh, the fiber optic uh, cutter, cable cutter. And as you can see this thing is automatic Anyway, I asked the guy why was he using, why wouldn't he use a, a scissor to cut off or uh, trim those um, cable. He said that uh, the machine will just reject the uh, this 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 uh, fiber optic uh, strand if you just simply cut it with a scissor. So they, they, there this there is this uh, special tool which is used for cutting. Um, strands and as you can see here the staff or the technician from the data data co is showing us how to fuse together those two strands and if you look at the screen the machine is automatically aligning them and it is showing an animation of the process which it is doing currently and um, aside from the animation, I think it has a sensor or something, or it's showing the actual um, fused um, strands together. So the process of fusing them doesn't really take so long. And after fusing them together, he's adding those small tubular plastic, which he's, he's looking at the um, small light over there. 
and it's gonna insert that to this um, yeah or where he is inserting it at the moment and it will be you know like clipped together or um, a bit melted so it, 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 it holds those uh, two fused um, strands together so they will be like um, stable the white switch over there this box the over there is the Cisco switch specialized for fiber optics and this is another connector for fiber optics that yellow cord that he is holding is a connector cable from that will be connected from the fiber optic patch panel to the switch itself so there's the adapter that will be inserting to the port and the other of the end of which will be connected to the PABX oh sorry the the patch panel for fiber optics now they're trying to pop up as they're already done with see this is how fast it is to terminate fiber optics cables as opposed to terminating um, SCAT6 or CAT5 cables in which you will use a lot of um, RJ45 and other tools like um, cutter, crimping tools, testers. This is the OTDR which this data code stops are using to test for latency or connectivity or meters length of the cables and um, as you can see here some of the graphs are showing um, important data for them to see anyway thanks for watching guys and if you find this video useful please like and subscribe to my channel and um, thank you very much have a nice day everyone